300,000 years ago, campfires provided light and warmth, heat for cooking, served as beacons, and drove away insects and predators. Homininians have learned how to control fire. Hafted stone-tipped spears become much more common in both Europe and Africa. In the meantime, Homo heidelbergensis reached Schoningen, in Germany. Also, early Neanderthals were descendants who lived mostly in France, Spain, and Italy, in Western Europe. They had lighter skin due to lack of sunlight, and were also a bit smaller, at 160 centimeters, 5.2 feet. 15,000 years later, the Denisovans, who had Neanderthal-like build and facial features, lived around the Denisova cave. They had dark skin, brown hair, and brown eyes. After 25,000 years, Homo sapiens, humans, have descended from Homo heidelbergensis populations in Africa, from Florisbad as far as Jebel or Hoot. They were narrow-chested, had a gracile build, and made bone tools. Within 34,000 years, Homininians present at above 4,000 meters high in the Tibetan plateau, left impressions of hands and feet. Another 26,000 years later, Homininians slept on grass beddings made of insect-repellent plants. Around the same time, Neanderthals produced tar through the dry distillation of birch bark and used it as a backing on small stone tools. Soon, Neanderthals adopted the Levawad technique to produce smaller and sharper knife like Mousterian tools as well as scrapers. After 10,000 years, due to fewer food resources on the island of Flores, Homo erectus descendants, Homo floresiensis, shrank to just 110 centimeters, 3.5 feet tall. Some 5,000 years later, Homo sapiens arrived at the Misliya cave in Israel, outside Africa. Within 15,000 years, Neanderthal spread to the Apodema cave in southern Greece. After another 10,000 years, the Denisovans were present in a high altitude, low oxygen environment and reached the Baishia Karst cave. 10,000 years later, Karain Cave, in southern Anatolia, was inhabited by Neanderthals. In the meantime, Neanderthals exploited marine resources on the Iberian, Italian, and Peloponnesian peninsulas, where they waited or dived for shellfish. Within 20,000 years, Neanderthals' numbers increased dramatically in Western, Central, Eastern, and Mediterranean Europe. Also, the Anamite Mountains caves have been occupied by Denisovans. At the same time, Homo sapiens reached the Western Sahelian zone. Not long after, the Sangone manufacturing style developed from the earlier Acheulean types. In addition to the stone tools, bone and antler picks were also used, especially for grubbing. Meanwhile, the San, human hunter-gatherers who manufactured Sangone tools, expanded to southern Africa. During droughts, they made sip wells by scrapping a deep hole where the sand is damp, and inserting a long hollow grass stem to collect water into egg bowls. San economy was a gift economy, based on giving each other gifts regularly. And they were an egalitarian society. Women were treated as relative equals in decision-making and may be leaders of their own family groups. Also, the Pygmies humans expanded to Central African forests and made Sangone stone and bone tools. At the same time, early Homo sapiens from Mauritania, to a drawer bouse in Niger, up to the Nile Valley, used the Levelwad technique to make Aterian stone tools. 5,000 years later, hafting was widespread. Scrapers, knives and points all were hafted, and a wide range of activities were facilitated. Not long after, the diet of early humans included seafood obtained by beachcombing, creating shell middens in Eritrea. Meanwhile, humans crossed the Bab el Mandeb Strait in the Arabian Peninsula, settling in Malia. Within 5,000 years, Neanderthals reached Tabun Cave in Israel. Around the same time, the Neanderthals spread up to the Denisova Cave. 14,000 years later, humans settled in Oman. Within another 6,000 years, vocal languages have begun diversifying. 
Soon, humans near Wadi Halfa slept in a dome shelters of skins or brush. In the meantime, humans who reached the Kafza cave through the Nile Valley, buried the dead and practiced ceremonial funerary rites. After 10,000 years, Pygmies humans made semliki harpoons to spear catfishes. Another 8,000 years later, pierced and ochred Nasarius shell beads were used by the Aterians as personal adornment. Within 8,000 years, the Toba supervolcano erupted in Sumatra, with ash falling as far as Lake Malawi in East Africa, leading to a worldwide decrease in temperature for several years. After around 4,000 years, Neanderthal burials take place in areas of Europe and the Middle East. Also, humans at Blombo's Cave, in South Africa, consumed fish and shellfish, and made shell beads. At the same time, stone segments that were inserted in axe hafts were covered with an adhesive composed of plant gum and red ochre. 3,000 years later, like other endemic fauna on Luzon, Homo luzonensis shrunk in size to around 145 centimeters, 4.8 feet, due to insular dwarfism. After another 3,000 years, humans used bows and stone arrows for hunting and aggression. Soon, bone arrows will also be used. Within 3,000 years, humans tied together animal skins using shards of bone as needles, with animal sinew or plant material as thread. Around 1,000 years later, Emerin was a Homo sapiens culture that used Amire points in numerous stone blade tools, including curved knives. Not long after, Neanderthals used plants as medicines, not necessarily effectively. After 5,000 years, humans' descendants spread along the coastal route around Arabia and Persia to the Indian subcontinent. Within another 4,000 years, bone has been used for making tools by virtually all hunter-gatherer societies. 1,000 years later, Homo sapiens migrations continued along the Asian coast to Southeast Asia and Oceania, colonizing Majedbib in northern Australia. Humans are now seafarers, due to their abstract thinking and planning depth. 